Hey Mystery Gang, it's your Mystery Inc here. Welcome back to your Mystery Inc. And today we'll be doing a review on the latest competition other than UCA Nationals 2022. Alright, so let's get into this. Now we all know how this weekend went with performances, vacation, Disney World, TikTok, etc. So uh, let's get to um, these scores. Now, in the level six uh, medium, Lady Jags, day one, they came in, they were the winners of this division. And day one, they were, they had at least a raw score of 47.7 and a point one in deductions. So far, so could have been better. And under them was World Cup Suns. And finally, in day two, they had zero. They had zero awesome. And their raw score went up better or point more than what they had yesterday with a performance score of 96. So that went well. I would have expected the last score to be much bigger at the last competition that they were at. Now, getting to this, finally, um, I wanted to get to, to the senior large six coat, um, senior large six all girl. And only we have to we have to give it to our girls senior elite. They came with both both days with zero deductions. Like zero, and they had. I heard that they hit 99 on a day, but it says right here that on, on day one they had a raw score of 48.6, performance score 97, and finally day two still zero 97.6 performance score raw score 48.8. It went well. I mean, they really came out this time. It was bigger, better, better. I loved it. The performance was beautiful. I really had, I like how they really came out this time much better than other competitions, but they felt really confident and boosted. So I'll have to give them a clap for that. So good job to them. They really came out. And it was like like a different side. It was like a difference than a, what you know, less from the NCA. Because I felt like they weren't themselves. But this time they really came out. And I guess like, okay, they're, they're wide awake this time. So we got to give them some, some praise for that. Good job, Senior Elite. Next up, I wanted to give, um, we got to give it to one team in the large senior co-ed. They were the only ones in this division. So there wasn't nobody else there. I was hoping Sting Rays would be there. But it's no other than the top at all stars TGLC. Forty-nine point six. Um, day one they had a forty-nine point six. Uh, day one they had zero, and day two they had the same thing. Forty-nine point six point forty-five deductions for ninety-eight point eight. Saying the TGLCs really change it up a bit, and they come a bit, bit bigger and faster so far after these years. Even after the, the last one at Worlds, they really came out and they're more confident and better this time. I feel like ever since. They went, every time you win Worlds, you kind of feel more confident in your team. You always do better the season. So, who will know what's come of it? And everybody came up complexly. 
and to put a perfection performance on stage without a question mark on them. So I guess you could say they really know what, what they want and what they want when to accomplish and what they came for. And the triple crowning, like, I mean, they win in UCA every year, so I gotta say like fifth, uh, like fifth crowning, I'll say that. TGLC, they'll always be my favorite. I love them. I mean, I don't have, I, I mean, I'm not saying I have love for the other teams, but I just love them. But what, what I love about Top Gun is that how different they are and how they put their routines together how much they've completed throughout these years since they opened their gym. All right, and I wanted to um, give a shout out in the Senior Six Junior um, Cheer Extreme Crush. They did an amazing job, wonderful job, ladies. Y'all were beautiful. It was stunning. I love, I, I mean, I love it. I, I loved it, the whole thing from start to finish. Day one, they had a point one deductions, Ross score 46.9, and they came up with a 47.0 and a point 45 deduction. So that's not bad. They still came out though. I love, love everything. And Brooklyn Lily, I mean, this girl is fantastic. She, whatever team she's performing on, she kills it. I mean, good job to her. And finally, I want to get to level four senior co-ed medium. And um, and it's no other than the winners of, of this whole division is none other than Cherry String C4 Bomb Squad. They had zero deductions day one, Ross score 48.5, Form 297. And finally on day two, Roscoe 48.7, zero deductions, so zero both days, all through, and 97.4 in performance score. I gotta say, I mean, what I love about C4 is that how they do um, level five, six stunts in their routines, and I love their transitioning, how they transition, they switch up, and the energy and the whole vibe to it. They really give it a spectacular performance wise, and especially with Ryan in the center, she really just wows the crowd everybody and it just just uh, it's so amazing to watch we got to give it to them they give a they really um they really rally up the crowd as well so this is a really really famous team after all in the level four because you would only see famous teams in level five six division but in level four you got sure stream you see four i mean they, this is this is a, a crowd pleaser right here that you guys should know about well you already do know so far, UCA became really, really um, cool this year and more fun, especially with uh, all competitions opening up and everybody can finally be in the arena. So it's more than what you expect. And um, and shout out to the level five in youth. Uh, Cheer Extreme Youth Elite came in zero deductions both days and they won. So good job to them too. The whole uh, mishap for UCA, especially last year, because we wanted to be cautious during COVID times. But uh, competitions with vaccines, all this stuff, I, I believe competitions are confident to open up their gates and let more people inside. They're the audiences, of course, when we like the audience. And give a nice smackdown round to all the teams and to really you know who to beat, what, what to go to, and more. <laughs> and there's something I honestly wanted to point it out now, Roller Cubs performance, their stunt sequence, it looks a little familiar. Now, I'm not the one to call out copycats, but uh, what do y'all think? Y'all think World Cup pulled something? Who knows? Well, I'm just going to call from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank y'all. Stay tuned. Um, if you're going to Spirit Sports, good luck. This might be... Um, this might be almost two competitions before Worlds and Summit. So y'all prepare, work hard. Y'all got this and good luck.